And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with an episode of Let's Play Xenogears. I'm joined as always by Fei Fong Wong. We got Billy, I looked up his name, his name is Billy Lee Black. And we've got Bart Bartholomew Fatima with us today. We are headed for the Shavat Palace, which is this giant angel statue that I went to before and uh, kind of was thrown off by that. I remembered it being important, but I did not remember it was the palace. And hey, Maria is up here to meet us. What's up, Maria? How you doing? This way, please. So, what's up? What are we, what are we doing today? We're, we're following little girls into very dark rooms. Okay. Billy, y you'll vouch for me, won't you? Do you need somebody to vouch for me? Wise man? You're finally here. Where have you been? Why are you here? Yes, why are you here, wise man? He's told us before. I learned martial arts with your father in Shabbat. The queen is waiting. Go ahead. Why are you like all froggy? What? Whatever. What's up, Maria? Please come in, of course. Uh, let's go through the other room. Whenever they tell you to do something, do everything else you can before you do what they say. What's over here? Um, not much. Not much at all. They have books. I, I, I can't read the books. Anything here? No? Fine. I didn't care about your stupid side room anyway. There was nothing good there. I, I regret ever going there. Fine. Is there another? Oh, there's a room on the left. Let's see what's in the left room. Wait, is that? Oh, it's a window. I'm trying to figure out what that below thing was, but it's just a window. Oh snap! We're we're outside. Quite a little intricate place that you've got here. Oh, oh, this is where Garnet sings her song, isn't it? Or is that a different game? It might be a different game. Surely there will be no princesses singing in this game. God, I hope there isn't. Fine. We'll do what you guys ask. Let's go in there. Talk to the queen. What's up, queenie? Queen Zepha? They say you're old. That, like, like over 500 years old. You don't look it. Oh, sorry, I got me quiet for organ music. Thank you for coming such a long way. I'm the Queen of Shabbat, Zephyr. Thank you for coming. What is this? It's just a kid. I may appear to be like this, but I'm actually 522 years old. Like I said, over 500. 522? Is that really possible? Sure, why not? I and a select few of the vassals have undergone some special life-extending treatments that you cannot use, don't ask. We were required to continue living until that final day approaches because of one man. To continue living. This is our atonement for that tragedy 500 years ago. Let us discontinue this discussion of the past. You, you're the only one that talked about it. I've heard many things about all of you from Wise Man. Wise Man has been squealing on us. Wise Man has been conducting his operations on the surface under my orders to keep an eye on that man's activities. Also, he was ordered to bring anyone from the surface who would be of help to us to Shavat. 500 years ago, we fought against Solaris for the freedom of the land dwellers. Even after that, we continue to resist Solaris, although we are short of any real power. Of course, yes. Can you find it in your heart to help us? We must free mankind from the grasps of Solaris. We must gain true freedom and build a peaceful world to live in. Something's not right. This fight for independence from a tyrant, the battle for freedom. I see. You make it seem like your intentions are noble. In reality, though, maybe you're no different than Solaris. Anyway, I'm too busy with trying to take back all from that bastard shit down. Hate to break this to you, but I don't have the time. You're apparently nothing like the calm and quiet Ronnie Fatima, Bart. I knew your 500 years ago ancestor. Yet you are so similar to Ronnie at the same time. Should I call him Roni? 
like rice a uh, There is logic behind what you say, though. Of course there is. There's always a logic behind what I say. I tell no lie when I say we are doing this purely for the future of the land dwellers. If you still cannot believe us, then defeat Solaris, gain back the independence of the land dwellers, and then see if we still embrace the elements together. The pretext of the past, the discord between nations, why be concerned at such a small scale? You must look at the bigger picture. Uh, what? Sorry, you talked right over his head. It should do you some good if you rest in at the palace and think about it. You should think about what you ought to do, but remember Solaris has been quite active lately, so we don't have much time for leisure. Or leisure. I say leisure. Now go and get some rest for now. I'm not tired. Just started. She told us to go take a nap. Go with Shavat. Your father, Khan, would have wanted you to. Where's Maria? Is this where I'm supposed to take a nap over here? She did say in the palace, didn't she? That would be over here, right? Sleep! I command you! Damn you! Apparently this is not where I sleep. That would have been uncomfortable with just a one bed. Billy probably would have taken taking the floor. Bart would have been right up on me. Just just uncomfortable right there. Uh, fine, I'll talk to all you people. How's the surface doing lately? I'm sure people down there are looking like yes, of course. You say the same thing? Spies cannot get in, of course. There's increased security because of you people. Yes, the queen must not perish under any circumstances. <sighs> Do I see earrings on you? Uh oh. She is. She does still have a speech impediment, but that's something different entirely. So this is the library, huh? Okay. And books. That's where the good stuff is. It's too much! There's too many books! Setting those aside, if there's something you want to know about from the past, it'd be good to go in and talk to the librarians. It's their... That's a sucky-ass job. Like, why don't you guys already know this? So, let's find out all about the past. Okay, made up of 12 elders, dominated the world. They had more military then, okay. Yes, like slaves. Right. Uh -huh. Led to the Solaris Shavat War 500 years ago. I mean, that's nothing new to us. Hello, kitty. What's up, old man that looks just like the guy from Lehan? Right. Your senator and Savant was successful at attacking the inner citadel of Solaris, but only with tremendous sacrifices. The unthinkable happened. A new enemy appeared that even Solaris had not anticipated. That was when the nightmare began. A nightmare never seen before. Nightmare that we pray we would never have to see again. That's it? D you have to tell me what that is. What is up? Like, freaking wow nerd right here. Diabolos. The sudden appearance of the mysterious army put a full stop to the battle between the humans 500 years ago. Those angels of death, utterly unrivaled, with no fear of mercy. Their only intention was to eradicate all life on this planet. Even Solaris's proudest deer battalions were more mere flies to them. Nothing stopped them as they indiscriminately slaughtered and trampled upon countless lives. At that time, people were certain that the end of the world was approaching. Dominated by feelings of constant fear and lone hopelessness, it was a dreadful life. The hell are you guys talking about? Are you an old man or woman? I can't tell anymore. The reason mankind was able to make it... 
was because the power of these giants created through God's wisdom. Roni Fatima and the other young fighters piloted these giants and destroyed the heart of Diablos. See an opportunity to counterattack. We stood up against Diablos and successfully annihilated them. Roni Fatima, Queen Zephyr, and the rest of the young ones put their lives on the line and won back the future for this world. Roni Fatima? Isn't that my ancestor? But didn't we already go over this? Didn't... Apparently I was supposed to do this before I talked to Zephyr. My bad. What's up, other old man? An existence which surpasses all other gears. They are the legendary Omni Gears. One of them is the treasure of the Ave Royal Family, which is currently resting somewhere within the continent of Ignis. But I can't guarantee that. Nobody knows! I think you're the last one. Right. So, the heavily beaten Solaris forces began to pull back and return to their home country, taking on with the vast numbers of land dwellers as slaves. We couldn't stop them. The only way for the war torn the land dwellers to survive was to depend on Solaris. After the brief moment of hope, Solaris once again began to reign over our lives. The cold and harsh era had begun. A hundred years have passed, and their reign still continues. Nobody knows. How long this is going to last? Do you on the outside have something better to say? Right. And the Diablos collapse. We and the rest of the comrades secluded ourselves on Shavat. At the time, Shavat was being constructed at the tip of Babel Tower in a very phallic symbol. But we were able to escape to the sky before Solaris was given us in the power of the land. Since then, we've been wandering the skies while overlooking the activities of the land below. I cannot run past you. Oh, we got, like, the freaking uncle from Lehan now. After the war, Solaris used a gate like ours to separate itself from the surface, and then they erased all memory of their existence from the surface dwellers. Due to this, the surface dwellers are still not aware that they've been secretly dominated.